I haven't been more excited to pick up and use my Nikon Z9 since I purchased it earlier this year with the announcement of the 400 f4.5. You know, so the first two months I pretty much used this camera exclusively. And I made a whole video about that. And my criticisms of the Z9 has less to do with the actual camera itself. It's more to do with Nikon's lens selection. You know, so I primarily shoot Sony and Canon. You know, I got the R3, the R5, the A1, you know, all the other Sony cameras. And, you know, there's a lot of sexy glass to choose from, right? The 85 12s, the 50 12s. And, you know, I haven't been picking up the Z9 lately because, again, it's like, what incentive do I have picking up the Z9 when I could pick up those cameras with those lenses? And ironically, the 400 f4.5 is the one that's really got me excited because I acquired a press pass for Chicago baseball games for Wrigley Field. So what I did was I met up the fro at Wrigley Field and, you know, I got to shoot my first baseball game. I brought the Sony A1 with the 24 to 70 and then the 100 to 400 at 4.5 to 5.6. And this is when I realized I had to learn on my own. This is when I realized that 400 millimeter was perfect for baseball. I, I, most of my shots were at, at 400 at 5.6. In the daytime, I was very happy with the output of the 100 to 400, especially having that extra range, being able to zoom out a little bit. But when the sun set, this is where the issue started coming, you know? So I was shooting at 400 F5.6. My ISO was like at 12,800, you know, because your shutter speed has to be really high to freeze that ball and the action. So a lot of my images were coming out muddy at 400 5.6. It's the combination of image noise and the lack of depth of field that you're getting. It just looks muddy. It doesn't look good. And then especially when you start to crop, it starts to fall apart right away. And that's when I realized the value of a 400 millimeter f 2.8. But again, that the, all those lenses are like over twelve thousand dollars for for every brand. So it's not it's not realistic for most people. I mean, even at the game, I didn't I don't I don't think I saw one person with the 400 to eight. You know, I could just picture myself at the game shooting at four point five instead of five point six, which means that when the lights go dim, I can use like eight thousand ISO instead of 12,800 ISO with the same shutter speed. And my images are not only going to come out cleaner, but now I'm going to get a little bit more separation when I focus in on the pitcher or the batter. And I think that the images are going to be a lot nicer when shooting a night game. Now, Jared did a great video of showing, you know, from the same perspective, what a 4.5 looks like compared to a 2.8. And yeah, there's a difference, but not a 14 or $12,000 kind of difference. You know what I'm saying? I think the 4.5 definitely held its own with um, creating separation between the pitcher or the batter and, and the crowd. And did you see how Jared was holding that lens? I mean, I know he works out or not, but still he was holding it at the tip of his fingers. It looks super light. And that's going to be amazing for, let's say, when you're at the game and you're, you want to move from one spot to another spot. You don't have to, you know, lug around your monopod and whatever the case is. You could just walk with the lens like, you know, how I was with the 100 or 400. Although I did only stayed in one spot because my social anxiety didn't let me move around. I was just too scared to walk in front of the crowd, <laughs> which is that's a true story. So I was privy to some of the info prior to the launch yesterday. But I, of course, I can't share the price or I can't even remember if they even told me the price, but I think they did. I can't share it anyways, if, even if I remembered it. If this lens is priced right, because I think that this is a huge win for Nikon shooters and even for me, because 400 millimeter is perfect for baseball and the, the 400 to weight is just out of out of my league. I'm not paying that much. This is a great alternative to have instead of the 100 to 400 because again if you're shooting a night game or even day game you're going to have a little bit more separation and it's, it's really going to change the image because again there's so much distract there's so many distractions when you're shooting baseball so yeah i'm really excited nikon if you're watching this please please send me one so i could show the world how terrible i am at shooting baseball no i'm actually not that bad but i mean okay so it's four o'clock i gotta move my car before i get a ticket i wanted to just share my thoughts with you guys really quickly um, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you soon.